he found them sleeping from sorrow. Mm -hmm. Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray that you enter into temptation. Amen. On this passage of scripture tonight, I'm going to speak on the topic. Jesus is love. I'll fail you. You know, in a sense, the two greatest, two of the greatest moments in our history took place in God. In the Garden of Eden, Adam chose to disobey God, bring a sin to the human race. He did not resist temptation, but chose his will over the flowers. And look at the Garden of Gethsemane, the second Adam, Jesus Christ, chose the Father's will over his own human will. Although the pain and, and spiritual misery of the cross awaited him, well, it seems as though the eternal battle was fought in the garden. Mm -hmm. Just as Adam's decision and Eden affected all who related to Adam, well, so Christ's decision in Gethsemane affected all who are related to him by faith. Yes. Jesus, as both God and man, had a sinless human nature and a divine nature. Mm -hmm. He had a human and divine will that worked in and yet, Seminary, we get the clearest picture of how he submitted his will to the Father's will. All right, now. The second Peter 3 and 9 tells us the Lord does not slack concerning his promises, as some count slackness, well, but is long suffering towards us, yeah. not willing that any should perish, yeah. but that all should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. Jesus showed us his love, knowing what he was about to encounter. He showed us his love no matter how we treated him. Mm -hmm. He showed us his love even when we didn't show him out. All right. Mm -hmm. The scripture read, read earlier in Romans 5 and 8 said, But God demonstrated his love towards us. Mm -hmm. While we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. Christ died for us. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. While we were yet sinners, yeah. while we were still deep in our sin, mm -hmm. while we were out in this world doing our own thing. Doing, doing things the way we want to do. Yeah. The way God told us to do when he died for us. Yeah, man. Amen. <clears throat> you know, this world has continued to ignore Jesus. Look at the things that are going on in this world today. Yeah. Yeah. They take them out of the schools. They're trying to take him off our money. Mm -hmm. They're trying to take him out of the place of belief. And they're even trying to take him out of Christmas, mm -hmm. his birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this is not new. Well, when he walked this earth, he was ignored. Mm -hmm. As John 10, 10, John 10, 10 through 11 tells us, he was in the world, and the world was made through him, yeah. and the world did not know him. Yeah. He came to his own, and his own received him not. Yeah. As much as he went through for us, how could we fail him? One week before his crucifixion, crucifixion, they cheered him and he rode into the room on the, on the, yeah. on the donkey. Yeah. One, week, one week later, they murdered him on the cross. Uh -huh. mm. Let's look at his journey here. Mm. Now, he was born in a manger. Well, because there was no room for him in the inn. Well. His mother and father left him in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They went into Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And was a day journey away. Judge. 